Land. I'm trying to show these things in the camera. I'm watching my lightning. All right. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, Captain Lim here. So let's talk, kind of crash course it because I keep getting these very common questions. And they're great question, questions, but you know, sometimes I get sporadic and I don't answer them all. Anyway, so let's talk about basic handgun selection. Uh, this one's going to be geared, I won't say specifically toward women, but this is just general things. Four things you probably, four, four, five things you need to consider about your gun. Uh, first off is reliable. Like if you carry a gun to save your life, protect yourself, protect your family, your gun needs to work. Reliability is built on two things, durability and longevity. Okay, is your gun durable enough to go through normal carry conditions? I don't know where you're going to be, middle of Afghanistan, or middle of your backyard, or out in the backwoods. Whatever you're going to do, your gun needs to kind of like go through those bases just like you are. The second thing is, is longevity, where your gun lasts. Go out and shoot like regularly practice where you're going to last you know several thousand rounds a lot of guns out there if you remember are made to be carried a lot shot very little so kind of factor that in in the end your gun's got to work you press the trigger should shoot uh, as long as it's got bullets next thing is <clears throat> uh, user friendliness can you as an individual shoot that gun does it fit your hand all those good things uh, well, when we talk about user friendliness, the easiest thing that we can kind of correlate to that everyone talks about is, does this gun fit in your hand? I don't know. Everyone's got different size hands. So you're going to have to go out, pick up a gun, and kind of put it in your hand and try to see how it looks. Okay, the easiest way to check that is, will this line up with this, with your wrist and your forearm? If it does, your hand probably fits it okay. The next thing you need to check is, can your finger reach the trigger? Can it reach any other basic controls like safeties, side stops, side releases, and magazine releases? Um, <clears throat> so check a little bit of that out. Next part of that user friendliness is can you shoot them well? Because even though maybe a little small gun that you can reach all the controls, if it's got like a decent sized cartridge in there and a really light gun, probably going to have quite a bit of recoil. Uh, so those two don't tend to go hand in hand. So user friendliness, you got to go out there and try it before you buy. Next on the list that you need to probably look into and consider, uh, actually I'm just going to say you need to consider it probably, whatever, um, is Concealability. Uh, handguns by design are in existence for pretty much two big reasons. It's for self-defense, it is for concealment and for um, uh, convenience is essentially the best word. Uh, we carry handguns because they're convenient to carry, per se. Uh, it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt to go around with a big 12-gauge shotgun and lug it around places. Uh, that, and sometimes they call the cops on you because you're lugging a 12-gauge shotgun around. All right, so point being is you can keep a pistol on you concealed. Uh, and it tends to be more convenient. Uh, so you need to look into concealability. What does that mean? That means you probably need to find the right size gun to fit kind of like you. Can you reasonably get around with it with a gun concealed on your person uh, or wherever you plan on carrying or keeping it? Um, you can always go larger, you can always get smaller. So find that balance. Um, next to that is simple word is firepower. What is a sufficient caliber for what you need it to do? Is it concealed carry? Is it hunting? Is it plinking? I don't know. Uh, if you plan on concealed carrying, probably pick a decent sized caliber that's sufficient for what law enforcement or military would ever use in a pistol. Uh, so those are like the big four things you need to look into. Side note, another random thing about thing about firepower is capacity, because everyone talks about it. Like for example, a revolver, usually it's five to six rounds. Uh, an auto pistol, if it's small, may have six to seven rounds. If it's a large double stack, it may have 15, 20 rounds. All right, so that kind of factors in there also. Um, so, kind of keep those things in consideration. Thing number five that you probably need to consider, or I say a lot of people consider, is budget. And generally, a good quality handgun is going to be in the excess of $100, uh, probably 200 bucks, uh, maybe a little bit more. But somewhere between four and 600 is usually a good budget price for a good, reliable, well-made quality handgun that'll last you a long time, tends to shoot pretty well, and has good, you know, good customer service, things like that. Uh, Go out there, figure out which one suits you. At the end of the day, when I ask about budget is, how much is your life worth? Don't know. All right, have a good day.